Police in New York are investigating a recent Antifa attack on Republicans as a hate crime and hope to prosecute those involved in the planned violence. One America's Christopher Carter spoke with a survivor of an attack and has more from New York. I'm here with Paul Miller, who was at the Metropolitan Republican Club the evening that Antifa disrupted the speech by Gavin McGinnis and the Proud Boys. Now, Paul, thank you so much for joining One American News. Thank you so much, Chris, for having me. You have a very unique story about what happened that night. Tell us about when you first went down to the club that night, what you saw. It was just a crowd of about maybe 70, 80 Antifa members screaming and chanting and wild like animals out front of the Republican club. These protesters, did they have weapons on them? I think they did because they had the signs that they were chanting with and the signs had like these big wood, like the, the sign was on itself, it was like this big wood piece, it's dangerous. Like a two by four with something in it or something like that? Yes, and, it, and then they had the sign on the top, you could have anything in there, a nail or something, you don't know. We know this was a popular event for conservatives. Gavin McGinnis, the founder of the Proud Boys, yes, was. was speaking. He draws a lot of controversy across the nation when he speaks. You went to the event and couldn't get in. You were turned away. What happened then? Uh, I was turned away from the event, and uh, they sold out. So me and a friend, we was, uh, we was walking down the street and uh, coming up 84th Street when, and when we saw Antifa coming towards us. And um, as they were coming towards us, I knew they were gonna, that they were after us. I handed my phone to my friend. I told her to run. She was said, what about you? I said, don't worry about me, you run. And she took off running down the street. Five of them started to engage us. They tried to grab her. I grabbed her, pulled him back into the fight. I'm fighting with them. As I was fighting with them, I dropped my bag and five more of them came. These are in black masks, in black clothes. They looked so scary, dangerous. Now, just so our viewers know, Paul, you have a background in self-defense, correct? Yes, I do. I studied and trained Muay Thai for eight years. That's the only reason that I look like this and I'm not all in a hospital someplace. So tell me about what happened when you were in this fight then. Who came to your assistance? Who helped you? There were, as I ran away from them because there was too many, these two men who are heroes, Gavin and Jake, they, they literally, when other people would have walked away in the streets of New York, these two men sat there and, and, and helped me fight these guys. Gavin took one, Jake took one, and I took one. It was unbelievable. Something out of a movie. And then the police came and arrested them, correct? Yes. Thank God that the friend that I helped get away, she ran, and she went and got the cops, and the NYPD, God bless them, came in guns blazing, tackled them all to the ground. Then they got up. They started trying to assault the police officer, screaming at the police officer, screaming at me, I'm a Nazi. It's crazy. And you're not a member of the Proud Boys or a member of the Republican Club. You just went as a spectator no. to see it. No, I'm not a member of the Proud Boys. I know them, but I'm not a member, and it's I'm not a member of the Republican Club there. I'm a, a Republican committee, but not there, and I just went there to see. Paul Miller, you're very lucky. Thank you so much for telling One America News what no, happened. Thank you guys for having me, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you for letting me tell my story. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.